The goal with wholesaling and flipping is to find and acquire discounted or cheap houses that you can wholesale or fix and flip for profit. Well, how do you find and identify a cheap or discounted property? On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to find cheap houses in seconds, coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Data Cruncher software, which finds cheap houses in your area. Get it now at mydatacruncher.com. If you're new here to the channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com, and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. So what is the definition of a cheap property? A cheap property is simply an underpriced property for sale that is discounted below the current market value for homes in that area. For example, if market value is 100,000 and a property is for sale for 90,000, it would be an underpriced property or what is often called cheap or discounted. Now, consequently, if it was for sale for 110,000, that would be an overpriced property. As an investor and especially a wholesaler and flipper, being able to quickly identify discounted properties for sale is a shortcut to getting good deals. Underpriced properties are the low hanging fruit because more than likely if the property is discounted, there's a good chance that either the property is distressed or the seller is distressed, usually financially, and is therefore motivated to sell. So how do you know if a property is underpriced? On this video, I'm gonna show you a simple technique for how to quickly identify if a property is underpriced by using a simple formula. So in order to know if a property is cheap or discounted, you first have to establish what market value is. If you know what market value is on a home, then any price below market value would be considered a cheap or discounted property because it is for sale below market value. In order to quickly establish the market value in an area, we are gonna use one of the most important mathematical equations for real estate investors, and that is an equation called price per square foot. The math is pretty simple. You take the price of the home and divide it by the square footage of the home to get the price per square foot. So if the home price is 225,000 and the square footage of the home is 1,500, then 225,000 divided by 1,500 is $150 a foot. That means every square foot is valued at $150. Now price per square foot allows you to look at homes apples to apples and on an equal playing field because you're looking at the price per foot, not just the price. To illustrate this, let's compare two homes in the same area that are different sizes and have different prices. Home A is 1,800 square feet and has a price of $309,600. And home B is 1,920 square feet and has a price of $330,240. Well, assuming all things being equal, we can't really compare these two homes against one another based on price because one home is bigger than the other. So let's look at price per square foot. Home A has a price per square foot of $172, but guess what? Home B also has a price per square foot of $172. So even though home B has a higher price, they actually have the same value per foot. Now again, price per square foot allows you to look at homes apples to apples on an equal playing field because you're looking at the price per foot, not the price. Now, if that is still confusing or doesn't make sense to you, watch that part again. And I also have another video where I dive into more depth about price per square foot. Now, I'll put a link to that video in the description below for you. Now that you understand price per square foot, let me show you how to use it to establish market value in an area and then how to use it to identify which homes for sale are underpriced. First, let's take a look at price per square foot and apply it across an entire area to establish the market value by looking at the average sold price per square foot. Now this would be taking all of the sold homes in a given area and then taking the sold prices by all of those homes and then divide that by the square footage of those homes to get the average sold price per square foot. Now that would be a lot of math to figure out on your own. Luckily, this information is readily available if you know where to look. Let me show you using redfin.com. The reason why I prefer Redfin over Zillow or other sites is because Redfin gives the price per square foot data. Unfortunately, Redfin is not yet in every single market. So let me show you how to find this info. Go to redfin.com and type in your zip code where you look for deals. As an example, let's use 73118. Now it shows a map outlined on the left with pins of homes, and on the right it gives details about all of those homes. 
Now these are active homes for sale, but we wanna see the sold homes. So go over here to the filter tool and click more filters and then click house. So we exclude condos and stuff. Then change it to sold and click six months. Now if you wanna look at more data, you could use 12 months, uh, but let's stick with six months. Then click apply and scroll to the very bottom of your list. And right here, it tells you the average sold price per square foot. So that means as of this recording in the past six months, homes in this zip code sold for $144 a foot. But looking at the zip code might be too big of an area and you may wanna look at a more specific area within that zip code. So for example, let's say I just wanted to look at this pocket right here within the zip code. So I would click draw and with your mouse, I would draw a box around that specific area. Once you do it, it will automatically recalculate the data for just sold homes inside the area we drew. Now let's scroll down to the bottom and see the new adjusted average sold price per square foot of $161. Okay, for illustration purposes on this video, let's go back to the entire zip code. So now that we've established the average sold price per square foot of $144 for that particular zip code, we can draw the conclusion that any homes currently for sale in that zip code below $144 per foot are underpriced. Why? Because the asking price per foot is less than the average sold price per foot. These are your low hanging fruit. So let's go back to Redfin and switch off sold and turn back on active. And then here looking at our table, go to the price per square foot column and click on it. Now make sure the arrow is pointing up and that now sorts the list from the lowest to the highest. Now all of these properties under $144 a foot are ones we wanna go after first. For example, if I click on this one right here for sale for $60 a foot, you can see that it's vacant and distressed. This would be a good lead to go after. So now you know how to find cheap properties for sale in seconds. The key is being able to have a systematic way of going through all of these leads every single day without losing track of what you're doing and what you're looking at and getting all unorganized. So let me show you a tool I built that helps you organize, streamline, and automate this process I just showed you on this video. It's called Flipster, and if you've never heard of Flipster, it's an all-inclusive deal management system that has built-in tools for every step to wholesaling and flipping houses. And one of the deal finding tools that comes standard with Flipster is this tool here called MLS Finder. This tool takes what I showed you on this video and it instantly gives you a list of all of the underpriced properties. From that list, you have tools for managing the leads, such as deleting, saving, adding to your properties, and analyzing the deals. That way you know exactly what you've done every single day and you keep everything really organized. And this is just one of dozens of tools inside of Flipster. So if you're looking to do your first deal or level up and do more or bigger deals, Flipster can help you get there. To check it out and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com. Hey, I hope you learned something new on this video. If you did, show some love. Hit that like button right now and leave a comment. Let me know your biggest takeaway from this video. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel with over 400 videos and new videos every single week. This is the number one channel for all things wholesaling and flipping. And don't forget, it's not about the money. It's about having the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give everything God has in store for you. That's what it's really all about. And I'll see you on the next video.